Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Wednesday. It is eight o'clock nearly. No, quarter to eight. Um, so Kenzie's gone to school for his first lesson. Then I'm going to pick him up. Then we're going to go off to the hospital. So I'm doing the school run either side of the day today with the little one, uh, with the children, but I'm not having any like little daytime little ones with me today. Um, and then all being well. Well, it has to be because that's how I've planned it. We will be back because <laughs> I've got to do the school run later on. Um, but his appointment is at 11. So, you know, that gives us plenty of time. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I have to show you this. Daryl and Keith sent me this. They saw it. It says inside, it says, Pip, we saw this card and thought that you would like it. Lots of love, the naughty boys, which is what Lee calls them, um, and the four pack. Look. They saw a card of the dragon's back. It says the sun setting on the dragon's back, which is the hilltop that we did together, which is very sweet. It is uh, photographed by Phil Sprosson. And it's been turned into a card. And then on the back of this, which I thought was very funny, it says Fuchsia, Princess of Wales. Okay. Of course, I'm Princess Pippa Worm, aren't I? So I like the fact it had a little princess thing on there. Um, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. All right. I've also brought some of this down from upstairs, which seems a bit random, but uh, we got it when we had a KFC the other day, Lee and I, and I meant to put it in Spog um, and forgot to take it out of my pocket and put it in Spog. So instead of it sitting in my bedroom where there is no room for it or no use for it I'm going to put it on the side and remember to put it in spog when I go out later right cup of tea that's what I need just been at this kitchen window washing up and I tell you what I have never seen such a variety of birds come to the bird feeder this is clearly the time to watch the birds first thing in the morning I had a pigeon sat there then I had a uh, a male and female sparrows. Then all of a sudden a load of starlings came down. I haven't seen starlings around here for ages, but they all came down. Then a blue tick came down, literally. And there's one that I don't recognise as well, a bird I'm not sure about. But they've all come for breakfast. It was very lovely. It was literally so many different varieties of birds just rocking up. Well, I washed my hair straightened it because i'm babysitting for jasper this evening so i'm not gonna have time to do it later so that's all done but i did forget to put my makeup on i haven't got time now i've got to go get the boy and uh head off to the hospital and this is why we get here so early because there's never any parking Penny's got one as well. It's not what that, that one. one. You think he's got the one where it's just oh look, men in black one as well. Edgar. I think I just got the one with the cup. What you got? Mocha. A mocha. It's got cinnamon. Ooh, is that what I can smell? The cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And we each had one of these. They're only a pound. And I've got a nice cup of tea. So we're home. And Kenzie's just gone and got in the bath. I didn't bother taking him back to school. He'd only got one lesson left and we were pushing it for time. So yeah, I just brought him home. He's lounging in the bath and yeah, giving him the afternoon off. Um, the weather's turned, it's all rainy and yuck. We went for a cup of tea after our appointment. The appointment went very well. She said she was very pleased with um, obviously how it's improved she hadn't seen it before but 
said for you know obviously for him to have been referred um she was you know impressed that he seems to have pulled because i said it had definitely gone in quite a lot um but obviously when he lifts his arms up like this and leans against one stuff it really sticks out again so she she said she could see that it's definitely damaged um because it shouldn't do that uh she was impressed it got his strength back and the pain we've managed the pain through lockdown and what have you without any real help we had just kind of taken ibuprofen and stuff for it and yeah we had seen a doctor and then got these physio things and she was like what physio are you doing so well I've actually we were referred so we got help with that so she was pleased about that so she wants to see him in another six months and in the meantime she is going to get him um a, like electrical nerve test because she thinks it is nerve damage rather than anything else because there was no obvious reason it happened very quickly kind of overnight so she said there's no real obvious reason for it so they'd like to just check that it's nerve because they don't think it's muscle damage as such i think it's the nerve that's doing it um but it sounds like it's healing which is really good uh i thought he was actually having that test today but it would appear he's not it was just seeing a consultant so we're going to get called back for a test and then she'll write to us with the result and then we'll see her again about another six to eight months um and just continue with the physio that we're doing so fingers crossed that will fix it when I was getting the shopping earlier on, I picked up some reduced little mini pork sausages and this diced uh, mix of peppers and I mean it's got it's got celery in which I'm not overly keen on, but it's got other bits chopped in it like onion and carrots and stuff. So I'm just going to throw all of that into the frying pan um, and cook that up for something for me to eat as well as other people to eat if they want to. Might put some rice with it or something. I cannot hear you. Yeah. Homegrown pepper. go sausages and vegetables and all sorts of things brendan shouted up or shouted down from upstairs what cooking smells lovely so he's gonna have some with me too yes we shall call this the bargain bin dinner the bargain bin special mm -hmm. i'm just going to sprinkle some cheese on mine because i like cheese on my things here we go mm-hmm what is your verdict, Brendan? I'm good. Good. They can't see the plate. No. All they see is no. the plate. 
No, saw it in the pan. I think with the rain that is here, because it's school run, and that's called Sod's Law. I'm gonna go and check on the whole gazebo waterproofness. Let's go check it out. Yeah. I mean, probably if it was torrential, it would start to come through. And obviously it's dripping here because I've not put the back on. But yeah, I'm quite happy, I'm quite happy with that. Brilliant. Best decorating the box, aren't you, Beth? Sticking bits to it and drawing bits on it. Good shot, Sam. Oh, so close. Are you drawing a sheep, was that? Right, you ready? I'll send them yeah. back to you. Me. Whoa, that one I threw it myself. Can I get my... I'll throw it back to you. Go back over there. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Whoa, straight at me. no fun when nobody reacts. <laughs> See, I just make it go up. Because you're so sorry, you need to make the nose better. All right. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah, it's just doing loop the loops now. Back in Spog. It's bang on six o'clock. I've just finished work and I'm about to go and babysit for Jasper. I don't know how long for. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and hang out with Jasper for a little bit, put him to bed and chillax for a bit we are playing rabbit noughts and crosses jasper's won one haven't you i've won one yeah i'm going there oh i see what you're doing there nope. nope you can't change it you can do that. You can't do that. Yeah. That's not how the game's played. You can. Since when? You can do it on any turn. Look cheeky you are. I don't ever remember that rule. I won. Pit won. Good game. Thank you. No, because it's easier to get out. Do you want to go first again? Please. The hoops are easier to get out. I think you can put your finger in them. I'm just 
trying to stop you. Oh, yeah. Oh, you won. See, you didn't pay attention. I that, did not pay attention. You should attention. pay attention to where the bits are. Oh, I should. So you should... I should have put it there, shouldn't yeah. I? Oh. It's chucking it down out there. Absolutely chucking it down. So I'm going to drive very carefully home now and uh, get this vlog uploaded. Thank you very much for watching, you lovely lot. I will see you all tomorrow.